Sheila, Joseph herself. Imagine a household where mom manages everything. She takes care of the kids, the chores, the errands, the dinners. Maybe she even works a job on top of this. <coughs> she can't wait for her husband to come home and be with her the way he promised when they got married. The husband comes home and he sits on the couch or hangs with his buddies. He still expects her to do everything even when he is present. And he is not willing to give this up. Doesn't that upset you? How can a man treat his wife this way? Truthfully, I wasn't so different five years ago. I loved my video games. I wasn't particularly helpful around the house. I still expected her to do things. I kept records of mistakes, and I had to win the arguments. If nothing had changed my attitude at that point, I completely understand how a relationship can become so broken. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, the reality is that many husbands and fathers are at this place. We all transition from boys towards men and some of us seem to get more stuck than others you probably know someone at this place I was at this place my wife currently knows several ladies dealing with guys at this place guys what is going on I can't speak to the other situations but I can share mine with you I went through university, I got a job, I worked for a living, I made money, I spent money, I purchased a home, I had relationships, I met and married the woman I love, and we had a child, and I avoided loud, colorful shirts. <laughs> These are things adults do, but do they define a man? Despite all the manly things, my attitude and concept of love was immature in so many ways. I expected to be served. I held grudges. I retaliated quickly. I was self-serving. And I'm not the only man I know of like this. According to the Uncommon Husband's devotional, even the Apostle Paul wrote. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. Paul wrote this to contrast his own childish attitude against the perfect godly love that had been shown to him through Jesus. Love is patient and kind. It is not envious, boastful, arrogant, or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It rejoices with truth, and it bears, <coughs> believes, and hopes, and endures all things for the relationship. The love modeled by Jesus in these verses is an action. The original Greek text uses the word agape, to describe this love. The love Jesus showed is the same love that husbands are expected to show their wives. Agape love differs from the lustful, emotional, feels sort of love that our society holds so dear. When the feeling is gone, the love is gone too, because it's just a feeling. This type of love is self-serving, immature, and childish, as Paul speaks to. In contrast, agape love is a mature and manly kind of love. It is a willful act 
a commitment, a desire for the good will of the object of your love. God is agape love, and he modeled it to us through Jesus. Because this love is a committed action towards the good of your spouse, we can still love regardless of our feelings. We can still love regardless of how we are treated. We can always love first because God loved first. And we can reconcile anything because God reconciled us to Him. Just like Paul, I didn't understand this type of love until I understood how Jesus loved me. The truth of this burst in my heart and mind like a sunrise. The way this love can transform relationships is self-evident when you realize how childish you've been and where that was leading you. Did you know that before Paul encountered Jesus, he was getting paid to hunt Christians and put them to death. The same love allowed those Christians to forgive Paul for that and accept him as their brother. If this love transformed a man like Paul, chief of sinners, it can transform anybody. It transformed me. And marriage has become the amazing gift I always heard it was meant to be. There's a second benefit. My son will see this type of love as he watches me lead gently, adore my wife, kiss her, pursue peace with her, apologize to her and show my love in tangible ways until he becomes a man who treats his wife the same. Is there a more manly thing to do than love your wife? Guys, how manly is your love? 